Hi friends, welcome to Refer UX, myself Nimesh. Today, let's discuss how to configure reverse proxy in Apache in Cent OS 7. As you know, Apache web server is one of the widely used web server in the world, and Apache web HTTP package comes with uh, several modules. One module is mod proxy. This mod proxy module is an optional module uh, which implement, which can be implemented as a proxy gateway or a cache for Apache web services. In the previous video, uh, we have discussed about implementing forward proxy. You can get the link for that video in the description below. This video talks about the reverse proxy configuration and this reverse proxy configuration enables users uh, who are coming from the internet uh, to allow access to the internal website and there there is reverse proxy acts as the mediator between the internal private network as well as the external public network hence the security is applied plus a delay element also will be applied. So let's start. Okay, uh, first let me show you uh, the reverse proxy, uh, which is the uh, public facing web server where customers interact or the users interact in order to search for the actual web server website. And this is the actual uh, backend web server where the actual web page is residing. Uh, users will never get to know about the IP of this as uh, they only reach up to the reverse proxy IP and the reverse proxy does the uh, page uh, getting the page content uh, from con by contacting the backend server hence they doesn't uh, the users has no idea they have no idea on the backend server IP first let me open the uh, terminal in the uh, reverse proxy and change my mode into super user mode and I'll give in uh, given the password all right and let me show you the IP address it is 86 186 and here also let me open the uh, terminal and change my mode into super user mode and the IP address is 180 so uh, I'll go back again to the uh, reverse proxy and copy this IP and then I change the uh, uh, what you call uh, host file in order to set the DNS uh, and here I'll go here this is the reverse proxy and I'll change the name as www.cnec.com and the node would be node one, and eighty-seven should be the reverse pro uh, actual web server. I'll name it as connect one dot all the users has no idea. Not two, all right. I save this, and I close it. Then I go back to the uh, actual web server. And I, there I also uh, change the host file. And I'll set DNS here, it should be 187. And uh, here, connect1.com and node 2. And I check it again, alright, save it. Just for information, I'll ping from node uh, one to node two, and it is nicely pinging to select one dot com. Great. And uh, again, I move on to the backend server and I clean the screen. Then I install the Apache server. That's right. I put minus five so that uh, it won't ask me uh, with the per for the permission. It uh, immediately uh, installed uh, since I already allowed the permission. 
and this speed of uh, installing depends on your internet speed and my one already got installed and done then i uh, then i uh, start the uh, apache server and let me check for this status and it's active and running then what i'm doing is i will enable this service so that in the next restart the service will be automatically of started then i will allow the firewall uh, as i will be accessing this web server using the http service hence it should be on port 80 and i will make it permanent so that in the next restart the same rule will be applied and i'll reload the firewall so that what my uh, rules will be enabled with the uh, firewall. Then I will change the index page of this Apache server where we will be accessing HTML, indexing for HTML, and right One and seven is there. Uh, we will uh, let me show you that the backend server IP is one eighty seven. Then, in order to make this in, uh, uh, working, I will restart my Apache server, and it's done. So my job at the backend server here is done. Now I move on to reverse proxy, and again I will be installing the Apache server. Because we'll be using the proxy module in the Apache web server. And here also it is getting installed very fast depending on your internet speed it uh, installs. Uh, and here also uh, I have already got installed and voila it's done. Then I'll be again start the Apache server and then and uh, check the status of the Apache server. Right, it's active and running. Then I will make it enable for the next time. And now let's check whether we have got install relevant proxy module so that we can work properly with the reverse proxy. We can use this particular command. Should we check that? Right modules that zero zero minus proxy point when you give this particular command you get an output like this you will if you get an output like this that, that means you have, not, you have correctly uh, installed relevant proxy modules using the apache server then let's then let's uh, create the reverse proxy Using uh, this command, HTTP on dot d and reverse. And before that, let me open the firewall here as well. CMD minus minus that port eighty eighty slash HTTP and make it permanent. Minus minus readout. Then let's edit the um, this proxy file. Add dot d reverse dot on. And here I'll give my I'll enter my my geo reverse proxy settings 
for logic. So my proxy request should be up and I allow proxy to tell the IP addresses. Proxy to the proxy and require we all wanted then I allow my for a reverse proxy proxy pass without any other pages I only call this and the port to the platform the way the port wanted for proxy pass also the same that is reverse communication it seems that I have we have entered all the uh, relevant commands module mod proxy reverse execution is off proxy all granted and so make one so make one that's off and that's not it let's save this and uh, close and uh, check whether this is uh, correctly uh, applied without any errors yes if you get if you don't get any errors which means you have a, you have uh, correctly done it now let me show again the ip address of this uh, Reverse proxy is 186 and the IP address of the back end 187. So we are calling the uh, actual web page where the uh, reverse proxy 186. So I go here, maybe uh, my uh, host machine IP uh, web browser, and I type 186 again to the reverse proxy. Then when I View it. Voila! It worked. It did. It 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 shows me the web page located at 187, but through the 186. This is how uh, reverse proxy works. In this video, we discussed on how to configure reverse proxy in Apache server with uh, in CentOS 7. If you learn something, please do like and share. If you want to know about future videos, please do subscribe. Till we meet again, have a nice time. Thank you.